It feels like the home just wrapped its arms around me when I walked in. I do think you ought to look for a friendly atmosphere. I think that's quite important. I think they need that when they're moving into somewhere that's strange. They need that friendliness. The residents have really enjoyed themselves today, getting out into the garden, out into the good weather and the sunshine. They've really enjoyed seeing the birds of prey up close and flying right past their heads. We can come in and take Grandma upstairs to the coffee shop and like have a coffee with her, like just be really relaxed, not feel like pressured and it's really nice. We've been showing the residents from Linden House some of our memories. I was looking for, and then perhaps we come to the important bit, carers who care. But what I must say about the boys and girls, they do care. And they also care for the visitor as well, which is nice. I'm 84 years old now, and I don't think in all of my life that I've ever met a group of people that could be so friendly and I really love all of them. Nothing is too much trouble. The staff always go the extra mile to make me comfortable and my family and friends feel welcome. My experience is just that my mum is so happy here. The carers are really good. They are so caring and kind um, that I could do nothing but recommend it. Everyone, everyone's involved rather than I've got my job to do and that's okay but no actually we're all part of the experience we just get to hear the whole team of people committed to the experience of the people who are living there and I think you just you pick that up very quickly. Thank you so much for taking good care of our friend. You have been the family he does not have. Everybody helps everybody out. It's not them and us, it's everybody working together for the benefit of the residents. They're not them and us, we're just friends. From top to bottom, you know, if you've got a problem, you go and sort it out. He's happy. You can't ask for more than that. I choose how to spend my day and there are plenty of activities and the food is good. We're guests in our residence home. Everything we do here is around our residence. Um, and I just think it, it's flowed out into the community really, hasn't it? Everybody who comes into the home is, is welcomed. I mean, after all, we're talking about our residents being individuals, actually our staff are too. They settle into this as being their home and the important thing about that is that the carers make them feel at home. They, they actually care about the people they're caring for and that's what it's all about, that's what care is all about. We're here at Bournemouth Gardens this afternoon to take our oldest resident, Joan, who's 104 years old, up in a hot air balloon. It's been her lifelong dream. Joan's one of our longest serving residents. She requested that she could feel the wind in her hair in a new car. This is what we got.
The staff helped us learn the best ways to manage her condition and continue to keep us informed in her life as much as possible. having looked around at other homes and talked to numerous friends who have relatives in other homes. They certainly don't have the peace of mind or the enjoyment of having a whole family experience with youngsters coming in as well. We could not think of a finer facility than the Colton Care Facility and uh, my sister and I are very reassured by the staffing, the management, and the systems and processes, it couldn't be of a higher standard. Here I am looked after among warm friends. No family, I think, could do better to make me comfortable. I just thought he would deteriorate, instead of which, it's incredible. His physical health now is better than it's been in a very long time. I think the security here and the care, he's, he's doing very well. I'm very, very pleased. And can I tell you, I'm not, this is, the carers are fantastic. They all say we love him. Um, I, I think uh, I think he's gone to heaven. I'm so grateful for the care you gave my auntie. It was such a relief to me and a joy to see the affectionate way you related to her and how she responded and trusted you in return. The staff here, if you ask them a question about dementia, there's no sort of trying to keep you out of the picture. It's all very open and, and very, if you want to know uh, what we're doing, I'll tell you. you know, it makes you feel safe in the knowledge that you've got your mum in here or whoever it is in here. I think the biggest thing that the nurses realise when they walk in here is actually they very much are in charge. They are like nurse-led units. They are making decisions, not just decisions about a resident's clinical need, a resident's their whole sense of well-being, looking after relatives, looking after staff. The amount of trust you're putting in somebody that you don't know is a huge deal. And you feel completely lost and it does take a little bit of, of time to build that relationship up but actually once you, you, got you get baby. to that stage yeah. you feel like you're part of the family as well you're all sort of welcome well, she has made it her home we're very lucky it becomes a real family affair which is a much you don't feel like you've lost your relative which is lovely yeah. it's more that you've gained yeah. a whole <laughs> new set of friends along the way well, you have yeah